infinity and beyond humidity is coming in hi and welcome back to my channel and just a few days ago i released a video on my praying malaysian blue mantis which i just did a brief video doing an opening and um, just talking very briefly about the species and um yeah so i did mention in that video i was going to show you the enclosure which i am now doing a diy job i'm actually making my own enclosure for the mantis and i wanted to just show you how i'm going to do that so i have some boxes in front of me um, things that i have purchased to help me with this enclosure so let's do that opening now and we'll just talk our way through it so so i'm going to show you what i've bought from um amazon uh, i'm going to be showing you i'm getting this way right okay Right, so here, it's like in the form of a brick. Maybe some of you are aware of this when you're doing like planting or a bit of soil or you're, um, you know, you can use them in, in um, some amphibian and reptile um, enclosures and you just add water to it and it just breaks down. So it's just in um, um, a brick form at the moment, solid brick form. And, I'll add water and I want to put this just at the bottom just so that I can put some flowers in there, something decorative, um, put some sticks or some um, piece of branch in there so that he can, um, he or she can um, climb on. So I'm going to just use that for the base of the um, enclosure. Here, just to put down the bottom and then I had this big one that, that obviously hasn't um, and then a, a branch of some sort but obviously that hasn't been delivered yet so I'm just gonna be putting a few of these at the base for now I ordered um, two sweet jars and the reason I have got two is yes I'm so excited again and in another video I will show you I am expecting an orchid mantis and um, the orchid mantis is more of an excitement for me um, it was the one that I um, preferred um, although I do like the blue mantis I find that he's a funny um, mantis um, but yes the orchid man mantis is the um, one that I'm excited about showing you and it just resembles a flower I think that's um, partly to do with the attraction to this mantis um, so sh this um, mantis hasn't arrived yet so I'm still going to go ahead because I'm expecting it any day I'm still going to go ahead and um, make the enclosure in preparation for when it arrives in conjunction with the one for the blue mantis I'm just going to be getting on with that so we're going to see the process now of me doing the soil and putting all the aquatic um, plants in there and I will be getting some foliage and sticks because that's very important for um, their enclosure because when they do molt they will need sticks to hang off um, so yes I'm just going to be showing you that process now so I have got this um, soil in the form of a brick in here and I'm just going to open it Okay, so now I have the brick in the bucket and what it says is I need to add about six to four litres of water and then you're going to give it 20 minutes and that brick is going to expand and um, it's going to get all nice fluffy. So, and then I'm going to halve it into um, the two sections. Increase water retention, good. 
drainage. It's 100% guys. It's organic and that's what we want here. And um, it contains beneficial microbes. It's HP and nutrient balance. Lasts three times longer than peat moss. Two and a half, three, two and a half. Okay, and this one will be the last and final. That is number four. And they say four to six liters, and I'm just going to go with four at the moment. I am going to come back in 20 minutes. Okay, welcome back. And um, that is looking very, very nice and flaky now. So I'm gonna put that in the bottom of this. You don't even have to do it the way I'm doing it. You can do it any way you want. This is just the way I want to do it. I'm gonna be putting in the artificial plants that I've bought, which I've bought the aquatic ones. Um, no particular reason, artificial is just as good, or if you want to have natural, it's your choice. I prefer, saw the aquatic ones, I, there was 10 pieces. I decided I'm going to split them half and half. Now I'm gonna be um, doing the enclosure. I'm going to be putting in the base. And um, so I want to just show you the process of how I'm going Going to do that um, and yeah we're gonna have a look how it looks at the end and um, hopefully um, the praying Malaysian blue mantis will be very happy in his his or her new enclosure does come to put in another um, airflow um, ventilation in this side because you know you do need when you see some of these Bavarians for mantises they have the added um, ventilation hole here that lets the air come in and go out on the top ventilation so that's what I want to do you can just have one but I would prefer to have I'm thinking that one here and one here because so I've got my um, spray bottle and I'm just going to spray the environment down. There we go. Humidity is coming in. At the moment, I do not have the insect nets. Um, they haven't arrived yet. So I am going to do um, a substitute, which is a really good idea. And I have seen this done somewhere else. So I'm going to be using a pair of um, stockings, tights, and the it works just as well as netting. So I'm going to be placing that on top for now. And yes, when the insect net comes through, this should be work really well, as well as the airflow going in. It won't allow any of the fruit flies to get out because um, that's what a mantis's diet is, especially when they are so young. Um, it will be fruit flies and eventually as they get older, it will be different kind of bugs that they will be eating. So um, yes, they unfortunately they don't eat anything dead. They prefer to eat their food live. Um, and this is just part of you know nature and it's part of owning a mantis as well as a pet. to be doing a replica of this with the orchid mantises as well um, environment so I'll be duplicating what I've done here over here 
and yeah, I'll have the two together. So, so here is my mantis. There we go. It's gonna get lost in here. Jurassic World in here um, compared to him, but I'm sure he's going to um, grow into it. See what's going on. So I do hope that you enjoyed watching my setup and how I went about doing it. Um, everybody's going to do their setup a little bit different, so um, yes, but this is the way I'm going to be doing my setup and I'm very happy with it and I hope that you enjoyed um, watching it. Um, so yes, and I hope you liked the way it looked. So please like and subscribe, make any comments down below because I would be very happy to hear and um, I look forward to seeing you in my next video and I'm also looking forward to doing footage and showing you my um, orchid mantis when it arrives and we'll be doing the same we'll do an opening on that and watching the mantis go into its new enclosure so yes and then i'm hoping in the future to do a video um after i've done some more reading on a the facts about mantises so i can just um read the book and then sum it all up for you guys so that just to make it a lot easier um, and a lot clearer so you know information facts and um hopefully a, a care guide if you are interested in something like this so yes bye for now